Hi, I'm Carl. In this video we're going to talk about clothing for commuters during the shoulder seasons of spring and autumn. It's all about having flexible layers so you can keep comfortable as the conditions change. All helmets meet the same safety standards. The differences lie in the weight, venting, shape and sizes available. Helmets that are more complicated to improve these features cost more. High-vis options are available. Modern helmets often have large vents which let through cold air during rides. Under helmet hats are there to keep your head warm, preventing cold breezes. Spring and autumn options also wick sweat away. On sunny days, sunglasses with tinted or photochromatic lenses are useful. Otherwise, glasses keep water and grit out of your eyes. Gloves have two jobs, to protect your hand and help grip the bar. For colder days, waterproof or at least windproof options are best. Terry cloth on the thumb is also useful for wiping a runny nose. This is the outer layer that protects you from the elements. Different levels of protection are available. Windproofs are lighter and more breathable. Waterproofs are the next level of protection up by keeping water out too. Good waterproof jackets are highly water resistant, breathable and feature sealed seams and waterproof zips. Soft shells are more like a coat, with insulation keeping you warm. Whereas hard shells can be used in warmer conditions. Soft shells however are for cold conditions only. Cycling specific cut means you can still use your jersey pockets and the back is low enough to offer protection. On milder days, when a jacket is too much, a gilet is a good compromise to keep your torso warm. It can be easily stored in a jersey pocket to be pulled out for descents into a cool breeze or if when the clouds roll over. Jerseys are the main layer of the upper body. They are made of lightweight materials and engineered for cycling. Different features like zips and pockets are available. Always look for a comfortable fit and avoid cotton t-shirts and jumpers as they hold on to moisture and can make you cold. Arm warmers and leg warmers are useful on spring and autumn rides when the weather is not predictable. As soon as the weather warms up, you can easily take them off and tuck them into your jersey pocket. Good shorts are essential to be comfortable on the bike as they sit between you and the saddle. The pad acts as a cushion and also wicks sweat away to prevent chafing. Waist shorts are available, however bib shorts offer more comfort and better support to stay up. Investing in better quality shorts mean better materials, fit and comfort. On chilly days, shoe covers keep your feet dry and warm. They allow you to use your normal summer shoes. They vary in thickness from lightweight waterproof covers to thick and warm neoprene ones. Shoes will need to match your pedals, whether flat or clip-in. Some feature lace, velcro or ratchet fasteners. Ratchets offer fine-tune adjustment of the strap to get the best fit. Sole materials can vary and nylon is more often flexible than carbon fibre. Softer soles are easier to walk in, whereas stiffer soles have higher pedalling efficiency. Feet can get cold and uncomfortable, but waterproof socks can keep the feet warm and dry. Marina wool is a great insulator and is antibacterial to keep them fresh for longer. 